Finally. No more of that stupid flashing screen. Hold on, no need to go all office space on your NES. It's likely a simple issue that often happens during reassembly because of something commonly overlooked. Maybe you took apart your NES and when you put it back together, it started doing this. Or maybe you bought an NES that came with this problem. Now, what happens when you take apart the NES is that you have to pull the cartridge tray forward because of the 72 pin connector. But the fact is you'd have to do that anyway because of this little tab that rests underneath the circuit board. Now, when you're putting it back together, you might not notice this tab, and then it might end up on the top side of the board. And when you go to tighten down all the screws, it puts pressure on that locking mechanism, warping the front of the tray, and that prevents the mechanism from locking down. So to fix it, all you really have to do is remove that top shielding again, take out all of the screws holding in the tray, then pull the tray forward, push it down, and then push it back in. You should even be able to look down through the tray to see that that tab is now under the circuit board. But if you want to make sure, you can just pull up on the tray and it shouldn't move. Now, barring a broken locking mechanism, this should solve your problem and get that tray locking down normally again. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, maybe toss it a like and consider subscribing if you want to get notified of future uploads. Also, check me out on social media because I do upload stuff there that doesn't make it to YouTube. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, any tools or products in this video will be down in the description. Anyhow, thanks for checking this video out, guys, and I'll see you with the next one.